Hey guys, I'm Taylor and this is Kevin. If you're new here, welcome to our channel. We've recently explored the East Coast in our self-converted Sprinter van, traveling from Bar Harbor, Maine to Key West, Florida. Now we're headed west and trading the sunshine and crystal clear waters for snow-covered mountains and winter coats. Subscribe and we'll see you every Tuesday. Kevin and I are officially back on the road. We took two days off and spent two quiet days in BLM land in Nevada, right outside of Battle Mountain. It was perfect and just what we needed. A little break from traveling and filming so much. But like I said, we're back on the road now and we just arrived last night outside of Reno. We slept in this super quiet place and this morning we are actually surprised by wild horses roaming the area, which was absolutely awesome. But today we are headed to South Lake Tahoe to check out the town. Fun fact is that Kevin and I have already been to South Lake Tahoe, but it was about three or four years ago when we actually lived in California. So we're excited to be there again and to experience it all over. However, before that, we are gonna hit the gym. All right. After morning at the gym and getting some coffee, we finally made it to South Lake Tahoe and it's a zoo. But I guess that's what happens when you come on a Sunday, right? Jam packed. So like Kevin said, we are back at State Line Brewery. We don't uh, change from what we know. And we ordered the buffalo cauliflower because it's delicious and we already have it. <laughs> Creatures would have it here. Not sure what else we'll get though. Pizza sounds good. Super nice. Every table has a heater on it, but it's all outside seating. It actually made it quite nice. I'm excited. Suffered. <laughs> Thank you. So all in all, I think Lake Tahoe was exactly what we imagined it would still be. Um, I definitely recommend if you're in the area to go to State Line Brewery and get the buffalo cauliflower because it is so, so good. So now we're headed to Emerald Bay to catch sunset and then we'll head to our camping spot for the night. 
so I couldn't open the whole sheet. I had to one by one put the freaking recyclables in. What a nightmare. Well, at least it's empty. <laughs> at least it's empty. That way, at Thank least you, honey. Taylor's happy. So I'm happy. Happy wife, happy life. So it's been three years since we've been in this spot, a little over three years. And last time we were here, the sunset was incredible. This is Emerald Bay. If you're ever in Lake Tahoe, we highly recommend you come here because the views are just incredible. And you have that little, what is it called? Shepherd's Island or something? I don't know. I want a to little, call it Wizard Island, but that's in. A little Oregon. island with it. And there's a waterfall to our left. And we the were just, roads are a little sketchy getting here, but totally worth the drive. Because yeah. the views are beautiful. Yeah, if you have a drone, it's like the coolest thing in the world. But time to go eat some pizza? Time to go eat some pizza and warm up. She is the star and the call that proceeds. A howling wind and a still. At our restaurant for the night. Well, half of our pizza's on the outside of the box. Jesus. All right, how's it look? Not terrible, actually. I'd say pretty good. I don't mind it being over the box. Yeah. Just a little bit bigger. All right, well, let's go home. Time to eat. So we just pulled up to our parking spot and we are a little bit south of Tahoe City, which is a cool localized town compared to South Tahoe, which is more touristy, which is where we just were. Maybe we'll check it out tomorrow after the mountain, depending on how much we ski. But this spot is really, really cool. We have it all to ourselves and there's toilets right over there. It's well plowed. It's just really nice tucked into the woods right along the mountain here. So I'm pretty pumped. It was only five bucks. You do need a permit from, I think, M November 1st to May? May 30th. May 30th. So it's $5 online, which is very, very cheap. And we're close to the mountain, so it is well worth it. I can't wait to show you it in the morning. The only thing is, is if you do get a permit, make sure that you go to a local Staples or a library or something, because you do have to print it and put it on your dash. So we went to Staples this morning to print ours, but that's the only thing that living in a van makes a little bit tough. 20 bucks. 20 bucks from where? Front, Front Street. Street. Front Street in Tahoe City. Here's the rating. That's pretty good. I think it's pretty solid too. California, this is very good.
good morning guys we woke up to this spot all to ourselves i was surprised that no one else slept here last night but it is sunday so i guess it's not monday now or monday now yeah so i guess uh the weekends are probably more crowded but you can't really beat this spot we had open in the back windows you could see the water which was pretty nice and you had the sun glistening through the trees it was cool but now we're off to squaw valley to go snowboarding for our second to last mountain of the trip Kind of bittersweet. We're ready for the warm weather, I think. I am. All right. We'll see you at the mountain. Taking the train. we must admit that the conditions are not that good today and they probably won't be at Mammoth either but I don't think we can really complain because we've been getting amazing conditions and it just thinks that the last two mountains aren't gonna have as much fresh snow as we had in the at the other places but what can you do but this place is pretty insane I would only imagine with a lot of snow, this place is incredible. I can't imagine how packed it is. Yeah, it's pretty it's empty today. I've California packed always. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. Taylor's pumped on riding today. Awesome. Snow. So that wraps up Lake Tahoe. We are currently on our way onwards to Mammoth. We're not gonna get there until probably Wednesday, but hopefully we'll find some free land. All right, so we just got out of Costco, Carson City on our way to Mammoth, and I go to the bathroom and Taylor comes back with a chicken bake. Has anyone ever had this from Costco? Is it good? It looks like Taylor's enjoying it. It's not very good. It's not very good. It was only $2.99. It looks very unhealthy. Well, this little dough bar is not going to be good. So I picked it off because I knew you wouldn't want it. She's been craving a churro and this is what she gets instead. The churros aren't coming up until like next month. She's like a cow's home. It's not bad. It's got a weird smell. Oh, her and her smells. <laughs> All right, back onto the road. What 
up. Someone looks comfortable. I'm not actually. But I needed to change from the regular seating position. So I'm switching it up. Second time it happened on this trip. Gotta love it. Good thing we filled up our gas tank before we arrived here because gas is $5.29 per gallon for diesel. Granted, we are in the middle of nowhere, but still, that is crazy. That is absurd. All right, we're probably gonna end the Tahoe vlog here. Thanks for watching, guys. We really, really appreciate all the support. Please. You're new here. Please consider subscribing and we'll see you next Tuesday. Give us a like if you like this video too. It helps us out. We'll see you soon.